Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again. Listen, it is time to do another sip and smoke. And I'm excited about this one because that good old doesn't like to be called bourbon, but it's a bourbon. Jack Daniels, man. I got a little bit of this good old Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof Tennessee bourbon whiskey. This stuff here, I think will put some hair on your chest. I think it is a, I think it's a candidate a little hair on your chest at 130 proof or specifically 130.2 proof let's just be specific let's not it's not a let's not dance around the facts here this was bottled on 4 27 2021 kind of hopefully see that there right there at the top i tell you the day they threw this thing into the bottle just got my hands on this thing recently man and Pretty excited to give this a whirl give it a try let's get that in here real quick now the thing about Jack Daniels is it's just a good old American classic and gentleman Jack regular Jack Daniels you know they are I mean there's something that I mess with Jack Daniels Jim beans of the world I've never had any issues you know diving into the Jack Daniels whirlpool of fun Today, I'm going to compare this with a La Barbara. Maybe I'm pronouncing that correctly. La Barbara. This is a four by seven cigar. Um, I picked these up, man, on, I can't even remember the website I use, but this is a, uh, it's called the Purple La Barbara four, 40 by 70. It is a Dominican Republic cigar, has a Dominican Republic binder, filler, and wrapper. And so um, I actually enjoy these things pretty well, but because of the harshness and the the attack that the, you know, Jack Daniel tends to put on your ass, I decided maybe I should pair it with a cigar that I know. Maybe I can determine how the Jack Daniels is truly treating me with a cigar that I smoke more often than not. So this cigar does not have the best burn. But it is a cigar that I really enjoy. As long as I don't, you know, as long as I tend to it and all that good stuff, then we are good. So quick update, man. We're approaching 8,000 subscribers on the main channel. If you are here from the main channel, thank you for being a part of Battalion. If you're not a part of Battalion, join us. Join us, man. Join the battalion. Feel free to come on with it. And so this cigar usually provides me with a chocolate, like a chocolatey scent on the foot itself. I really enjoy this cigar. You know, it does have multiple layers throughout the cigar itself. Now, when I smoke this specifically, the draw is usually really trash. Um, I usually have to babysit it. I always got a cigar nearby. Sometimes I have to use a divot tool. But if you just go with the flow and just enjoy the cigar, it's not that bad. It gives you a really barnyard smell and really bitter taste on the foot itself. You know, something I enjoy now. Pairing that with this good old Jack Daniels here. Now, I will say this. I'm doing the sip and smoke with y'all, but I've already had a glass of this stuff and it's still strong. It has not calmed down. It is definitely something that will whoop your ass. And if you don't normally drink bourbon, you don't normally drink whiskey, man, this stuff here is no joke, but it's something that I can, I can definitely mess with now. Every four years, man, I'm usually, I'm 35, right? So every four years, I'm usually really excited about watching the Olympics. And this year, I've just been disinterested, man. I've been totally disinterested. Apparently, USA is racking up some golds this year. Now, you know. It's just been hard. For me, it's, it's kind of lost the experience for when there's no crowd. It's kind of a part of the experience for me is being able to watch that. 
I hope I get to go to the next Olympics. I don't know if any of y'all have been to Olympics before. If you have, leave a comment below. Now, I could tell you this. <clears throat> this Jack Daniels is something that is going to attack me immediately. What I mean by that is I normally smoke cigars or I normally will smoke, you know, I smoke cigars or drink bourbon, you know, several days a week, drink it all the time, you know, smoke cigars all the time. But these higher proof bourbons, I don't mess with very often, man. I usually got shit to do. I think, you know, matter of fact, I got to wake up early tomorrow. I'm doing this video for y'all because I'm dedicated to make sure you get a little sip and smoke action in your night life. But this might be the one and done type of drink that we get for this evening. One thing I'll say is there's been a lot of bitching and moaning and complaints on YouTube lately from YouTubers who I guess they're like views are down, subscriptions are slowing down. Here's my theory. It's the summer. Y'all got kids, you got shit to do, you're working jobs, you're trying to take people on vacations. Like you're not really sitting down and burning the midnight oil watching YouTube videos. That's just my opinion. Like, I, I, I mean, imagine the weather changes and you're inside more, it's cold, you got on a winter coat, you're trying to be at the house. I would imagine that's when you're watching more damn YouTube. And so a lot of YouTubers are kind of like, they went full time YouTube once they hit 1100 subscribers and they're really all butthurt because their freaking views are down and they're worried about making their rent payments this month. Man, I'm telling you, man, like YouTube is a business and every business ebbs and flows. You know, even the big ones, Amazons of the world, you know, they all have ups and downs. But in my opinion, making a video about explaining to people how hard YouTube is, it's kind of like a what was me thing. I mean, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about because I'm not a full time YouTuber. Uh, my other channel is, you know, I guess some people will go full time at almost 8000. But, you know, I got a full time job that I enjoy and I'm going to continue doing Ooh wee. It does not get any smoother. Um, it still stays, it attacks heavily. You can definitely taste the oak in this. Um, it is a strong one. From grain to barrel, straight to the bottle, our barrel proof Jack Daniels single barrel is made for those who appreciate a pure taste experience. Well, that's what you're getting because this shit is strong. This bottle is actually really unique as well. And this is definitely something that I will be keeping even after the well runs dry because it was hard to get my hands on this. Just like it was hard to get my hands on that Blanton's that's behind me, that Weller's that's behind me, that freaking Eagle Rare that's behind me. Why is this shit so hard to find, Buffalo Trace? I mean, okay, so you make some good bourbons. We get it. But man, this stuff is hard to find. Like I got my hands on that stuff. But it was not an easy task. I tell you this. You know, I felt like I was going to have to do some things in the back alley to get my hands on that stuff. But I got it. Which is crazy because I did all the hoops and bounds to get my hands on different bourbons from Buffalo Trace. Except for Buffalo. Uh, exact, except for Buffalo Trace itself. Here in the middle of my table, you see Buffalo Trace spray painted there. And the thing is, is I'm not a big fan of Buffalo Trace. Like I got, I mean, I think it's okay, but I, I'm just not a huge fan of Buffalo Trace. But I've kind of made it my point that every bourbon spray painted on this table will make it into this man cave, right? Wild Turkey, you know, in all honesty, I haven't had any wild turkey in this garage, which is an oddity because they sell it everywhere. But I have had Wild Turkey branded bourbons in here. 
specifically this Russell's Reserve. R Russell's Reserve is from the makers of Wild Turkey. They are in the same family. So, you know, I haven't had Wild Turkey proper in here, but I do have Russell's Reserve Single Barrel. I also have Russell Reserve 10 year. I actually prefer the single barrel more, which I think is only aged three years versus the 10 year. They just came out with a 12 year, um, and I think that's a ride. But don't quote me on that. I, I haven't picked my hand, got my hands on it yet. Maker's Mart. Uh, I haven't actually had Maker's Mart in the man cave, but I drink it all the time, especially when I go out. It's just something that's really smooth. Blanton's. I do have finally got my hands on a bottle of Blanton's back there. So I'm not going to lie to you, man. The Blanton's is a it's a pretty it's a pretty good bourbon. I see why people go pretty crazy trying to get their hands on it and they're doing whatever they can to just get it, you know, but the uh, you know, I'm not going to necessarily go crazy for it again. The Wellers itself. Now, Wellers, um, you know, I have a bottle of Wellers back there. I actually have not tried it yet. I'm excited about that. The Bullet Bourbon, definitely down. Try some Bullet Bourbon. Knob Creek, we've had Knob Creek run through here pretty often. Woodford Reserve. Now, I'm trying to get the Woodford Reserve Double Oak, which is just hard for me to get my hands on. I have a source where I can get it. I just haven't done it yet. The old Rip Van Winkle, have not got that yet. And of course, Elijah Craig stays in this man cave. But I just recently got my hands on the Eliza Craig Barrel Proof, which I'm pretty excited about. Now, the thing about this La Barbara is you got to babysit it, man. It's a 40, you know, it's a 40 by 70, uh, excuse me, a 40 by 7 cigar, but it, it goes out easily. I will tell you that. It is a type of cigar, if you're running your suck, freaking putting together some cabinets, you just got a desk from Ikea you light that thing up you might as well keep the cigar lighter nearby because it's going to go out man and so it's just something that i'm used to but i still don't mind buying a box every now and again because i just think they have a really smooth flavor now as long as i'm babysitting in and watching the cigar pretty closely i'll get a pretty consistent burn so right now i'm getting a pretty consistent burn hopefully you can see that in this camera here and for me personally the burn of the cigar and the ash of the cigar is where i get my flavor so this one here um as long as i get a good light it's usually pretty good i tell you this much though the elijah craig barrel proof compared to this jack daniel single barrel proof this um jack daniels is tearing me apart it is really strong i like it but i only can drink this is my second glass right i had one before we uh started rolling tonight and this is going to be my last glass the elijah craig is 136 proof and i feel like i could probably get away drinking three or four of those and i think it's just the makeup of elijah craig their recipe maybe it's just the amount of wheat and corn they're putting in the, the type of barrels they use whatever but this jack daniels is not playing around let me give you a little bit more information about the la barbara cigar so la barbara cigars let me go to their this is called their purple so the La Barber Cigar Purple, it is, they do describe it as having white pepper, a little bit of black pepper, floral, elegant, medium, minus. Now it is an Ecuadorian Habano. It, it does have a Dominican binder and wrapper. I mean, overall, it's a type of cigar that I really enjoy. You know, I think I picked this up on jrcigars.com, JR a little shout out to them. And I think I may have paid like fifty dollars. Matter of fact, let's be specific. Let's go. Let's go take a look and see how much they cost today. La Barbara. Let's see what we working with today. So right now you can get a box of 12, which is what I have here for $93. I know I bought this on sale 
I think it fell down to like $65 or something like that. And this kind of made me pounce on it. But I have no complaints about this thing. It's a 7x40. Um, I definitely will pick up another box. I think I only have like three or four left. Let's take a look. Yeah, I got three left. So, you know, we are we are on borrowed time with these cigars here. It does not get easier. Which makes this worse is I'm not, I don't have a bag. I don't have a Coke bag. I don't have a water bag. I don't have juice. I don't have any of that stuff. I'm just drinking it. And this, I mean, this shit is strong. Like, if you can get it, get it. But this is not the type of bourbon that you're going to give to guests unless that guest is a bourbon drinker. Because this is the type of bourbon that you pour for somebody and they're going to waste your shit. They're going to say, oh, I'm all about some bourbon. I want to try it. Pour me up. And at the end of the night, you're going to find a glass going to have about this much bourbon left in it you're going to be kind of pissed so you might want to start them off with a good old irk and jerk right or maybe start them off with a good 90 proof i got some chestnut back there i think it's 90 proof 94 proof that stuff is really good it's only 50 dollars a bottle where i think i picked up this uh jack daniel single barrel i think it cost me 200 dollars. but boy does it make this cigar that much smoother so i took that sip of bourbon about a minute and a half ago, two minutes ago, talked for a little bit. It was lingering on my palate. Took a puff of the La Barbara, and it is just that much. It does bring out the pepper that much more. You know, if you like that type of flavor note with a cigar, you're definitely going to enjoy the pairing of these two together. Now, I don't know what I'm doing. I know how to get it. I want to even burn with my cigar. I want to get a good light, right? I want a good draw. Um, I want a the proper glass for my whiskey and all the other stuff. But I had no clue about pairing these two together. I just know that the La Barbara has a good peppery, white pepper type flavor. And I've heard that this um, single barrel from Jack Daniels, hand selected single barrel is strong as shit. So I thought to myself, you know what? maybe these will complement each other maybe i shouldn't try to go with a super sweet cigar hence why i land here and i'm landing for the good old la barbara but listen i'm gonna wrap this up man because at the end of the day i probably got another hour left with this cigar and I don't have an hour left with this bourbon because after I take this last sip, we're going to be switching over to Rittenhouse Bottled in Bond. It is a rye whiskey. It is not a bourbon, but I really like this stuff. It's 100 proof and I can drink like two or three more of these and just put this back on my top shelf and enjoy the rest of my night and wake up able to get out of bed in one piece so if you're not already a subscriber man hit that subscribe button man if you like videos like this click click here i'm gonna put some videos up here of more sip and smokes maybe you'll find a pairing that you'll be enjoying for as well if you're into man cave stuff man i'm gonna put some videos down here just right there of my other channel you can go check out man cave stuff tools survival stuff watch all that stuff until you pass out Hey, if you're welcome back, welcome to the channel. If it's your first time here, we'll speak soon.